Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. We have here a Sears Craftsman YTS 3000 and I'm just going to show you how to take the mower deck off. First thing you want to do is find a smooth piece of ground. Hopefully it's asphalt or concrete. It's easier to perform this while it's on something that you can slide the deck out pretty easily. Second thing you want to do is come over to your height deck adjustment here and you want to put it down as far as it'll go. Okay, the next thing I do is take off the mower deck belt and usually up front here, it'll have some U brackets that it has to come out of. Just make sure that you put them back in the U brackets and when you put the mower deck back on again, cause you don't want to rub against them. So you're gonna pull it out of one U bracket, pull it away from the pulley, drop down the other side. You can reach around, pull it up out of the other U bracket and boom, your mower deck belt is off. Now while we're here, we're gonna go down to the front pivot here, the front uh, arm that holds the deck on. Now this front arm actually has a clip on top too. This clip here holds this arm to the mower deck so the arm can't come off, but I would recommend taking this arm off the machine. So I'm gonna pull the pin first up here, pull that pin out. Then you go to your mower deck and you have a pin right here. These pins are nice pins, they, they hold very well. You just have to, they're a little tricky to get off sometimes. Just pull them away and yank it up and I forgot to say all you need is a pair of pliers to get the mower deck off I said I didn't say that in the beginning of my video I usually do for tools required a pair of needle nose pliers all you need take the washer off now there is there is some weight on this right now so what you want to do is you want to pick up your mower deck a little bit in the front and then that weight will come off the mower deck and then push the pin out the rod just be careful you don't pinch your hands and then the rod should come right out the front of the machine and the reason why you want to take this rod off is because if you back up with this rod dangling down there, you will bend it. Trust me, done it. So you want to take that rod out of there. Now we're going to come back to the two deck hangers in the rear. We've got one here. We're going to take this pin out. And the washer. Drop this off to the side. And there's one up here. Pull this pin out. This one did not have a washer. Some of them do, some of them don't. Through time, they, they get lost. It's nice to have the washer here, though. Now we're gonna go around to the other side and take off the other two. Start with the rear, right here. Okay, now I always recommend also, face the pin towards the rear of the tractor when you put it on. Because if you put it on this way, if you're going forward, there is a chance that it could pop out going this way if you hit something. And most of the time we are going forward and not in reverse. I know it could happen if you went in reverse and caught something on the pin, but usually if you put it back in this way, it helps them from popping out uh, because normally we do 90% of our driving in forward. Take the washer off, the pin off. You're gonna pull this off to the side. Just put it in the back here. Now we go up to this one up here, this one here. Same scenario, I'm gonna use the pliers to get this one a little bit harder. Pull off the front. And again, we drop the arm. Now we have to take the blade engagement cable off, which is gonna be around the other side. Now what I would do now is you're gonna put the mower deck arms up out of the way, even though they're not really out of the way, but you wanna take your mower deck arms out of the way by putting the mower deck back up all the way. And that gets these arms over here kind of out of the way so you don't pull them when you're taking the mower deck off. Now, this is where I slide the mower deck out a little bit Okay, this one actually has the blade engagement cables here. And this one's actually attached up here to a little clip. <clears throat> and this, these clips just have a little tab in them that you have to kind of figure out which way to tab to pull these, op to open them up like that, all right? And that holds that cable up out of the way. It's a nice little tab they put on there, a little clamp. I like it. Okay, pull that down out of the way. And then you pull your mower deck out. Don't, you gotta be careful with this cable. You don't wanna pinch that cable somewhere. Now we found out that this cable has a clip on it. Most of them do, so we take this clip out. All right, pull the clip out. In the same scenario, put that clip in that direction. Don't put it in this direction because you don't wanna lose it. Put it in, put in that direction. All right, now, sometimes these will come right out. They pull them out from here. There's a little slot in the top of this bracket that allows this cable to come through the slot when you pull this out. Now, they have little tabs right here on the front. This is where your pliers come in handy. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see 
with the with the camera, but you just have to push down on those tabs and then with your other hand pull that out and then you'll be able to pull that cable right out of that bracket. Okay, then once you get it out of the bracket, you can pull the machine the motor deck out a little more. And then we come to the spring, which goes through a hole. This is how it engages the motor deck. Alright, so all you have to do is do about a 90 degree on that, pull that out of there, and away you go. Now remember when you put this back in, you're going under the belt and under this bracket here. Just make sure you put it back the way it came in. When you put it all back together again, take this up, put it out of your way, put it somewhere where you won't drive over it. I usually zip tie them up somewhere, and then you can pull the rest of the motor deck out. Pretty much, that's how you take the motor deck off of a YTS 3000. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope this helps some people out. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.